Chris with HobbyKing.com with another great product we're going to talk about today. Today we actually have the new Fat Shark version 3 250 milliwatt video transmitter. Now the biggest difference between this and their uh, previous uh, 250 milliwatt uh, video transmitter is the input voltage that it can accept. This one can take up to 17 volts input voltage. That allows you to directly connect this to a 4 cell pack without needing a uh, standalone 12 volt supply or, or a U beak or S beak uh, to uh, uh, provide for your video transmitter. So in the package you get the video transmitter, you get a omnidirectional antenna. I would highly recommend going with some clover leaves or the Spironet antennas. Uh, that will definitely give you a little bit better uh, range uh, for FPV use. Um, and of course you get the, uh, the universal um, uh, power connecting uh, wires for this. But most cameras, uh, especially with the, uh, the Fat Sharks, it's a kind of a plug and play system. So if you end up with a Fat Shark camera, you'll have the cable that will plug directly into the transmitter. Okay, the nice thing about Fat Shark uh, transmitters is that they do provide 5 volts out for your FPV camera. So if you have an FPV camera that doesn't have a dedicated battery like a Mobius or, or a uh, GoPro, you can provide the, uh, the power right from the transmitter itself on this. Now another neat feature that a lot of you probably aren't aware of on Fat Shark uh, transmitters, if you roll it over it has a little uh, white connector right here. A lot of people might think it's the same pinout as it is right over here, but it actually isn't. What this allows you to do is plug in a mini telemetry system from Fat Shark and it overlays the telemetry data over the audio line, sends it back uh, to your ground station and that is processed for uh, antenna tracking. So this is the new Fat Shark 5.8 uh, version 3 250 milliwatt video transmitter. Check it out. It's up on the new items page and as always subscribe to our YouTube channel. We will see you next time. Sorry.